Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode number 51 of Mouth Dancing, hosted by your favorite podcast host, Young. Thank you for tuning in every week, week after week. 51 weeks. It's a long time. It's almost a year. There's 52 weeks in a year, so. One more week of this and I hit the one year mark. It's a pretty awesome thing, if you think about it. If you think about it. But if you don't think about it, maybe you won't realize it's awesome. So you gotta think about it. And I hope you do that. Cause then you'll. Think it's awesome and agree with me that it's awesome and hopefully continue to tune in as you've been doing. I mean, why would you stop doing that, right? Keep the streak alive. Keep the tradition going. That's what、uh, America's all about. This week, I really wanted to talk about so called seafood, which we all eat from time to time. Depending on the person, maybe not so much. I know some people don't like seafood. Unless it's like deep fried, like halibut or cod, you know, like fish and chips. And they eat it with lots of tartar sauce or ketchup and french fries. And that's pretty much the extent of their seafood consumption. I guess there's also people who like clam chowder. It's basically stuff that's really easy to eat, like, there's not much、uh, fishiness or gaminess to it. But I mean, but then there's people who are more adventurous, right? And they eat things like oysters or abalone, shrimp. Well, even shrimp, I think a lot of normies eat that. They're not scared of shrimp if it's like deep fried, you know, like deep fried prawns or. Shrimp cocktail. But you know, for the more adventurous, they eat things like sea urchin or exotic kinds of fish, different sea creatures, you know, like sea cucumbers. No, there's just so much seafood, it's difficult to name it all at the moment, but I think you get the point. But you know, people sometimes say that sea, you know, food like shrimp, basically like Bugs of the sea, right? I think there's really a point to that. They really are closely related to bugs which live on land, right? Like you look at an abalone, certain species, they look pretty much like slugs. Or snails, actually. Snails is better, not slugs. But, you know, they're like mollusks or gastropods or whatever you call them. The only difference is they live in the water. You know, it's pretty much the main difference. I wonder why it is so much more acceptable to eat that kind of animal if it comes from the ocean, but not if it comes from land. I know in France they eat escargot, which are snails, but that's not that common still. You know, most people don't eat that unless they're French. And they're eating at some sort of bistro or something, right? I don't even know how often do French people eat escargot. Is it really common? I'm not sure. I've had it once though in New York. It was, I think it was a bistro, a French bistro. And it was just、uh, basically tasted like butter and garlic because they used so much of it to cook it, you know? But the texture really isn't that different from lots of seafood that you can get like. Probably clams or, you know, other mollusk type things. So I wonder why it's so much more taboo. Like, I know in some parts of the world people eat crickets, right? But most people in America, you'd, they'd probably be disgusted at the thought of eating a cricket, you know? But how is it that different from a shrimp? Have you ever seen a shrimp? Like a live one with its shell and everything still on it? They basically look like bugs. I mean, I think they kind of are. They're just like bugs of the sea. What else is there? Yeah, people, I mean, people do eat 
like uh, like worms and stuff like that in other parts of the world. It really shouldn't be that taboo. It's just like totally arbitrary, I think. When you eat a shrimp or a clam or an oyster, you're basically just eating a sea bug. So get off your fucking high horse, you know, your culinary chauvinism is, is showing and I don't like it. Stop being so judgy about people who eat bugs when you basically do the same goddamn thing. I'm gonna fucking slap you across the mouth, you little bitch. You little fucking asshole. Fucking piece of shit. I'm just kidding. I'm not really angry about it or anything. You know, that's not the answer. Violence is never the answer. That's not the way to go about this, right? Just was doing that for a bit of levity. Don't take it seriously, you know, because I don't condone violence or anything like that. Have you ever heard the expression mental midget? But then I've heard that the midget community or... I don't know if I should even say midget community. I think they like to be called little people, right? But every once in a while you'll hear or see like on the internet someone will say someone is a mental midget, right? As an insult. Like they're not very smart. But I wonder what the little people community, I wonder how they feel about that. I think they would be probably insulted by that. It's kind of like you don't throw around the R word anymore these days, right? You don't call someone a retard, right? I think it's considered derogatory, similar to midget, right? So shouldn't you say mental little people when you use a, an expression like that? But it still gets tossed around all the time. I don't know, though. Maybe opinions are divided on the word midget. Maybe certain little people don't mind it. Maybe they think it's political correctness gone amok, or run amok, I think that's the correct expression. Gone awry, or run amok. Anyway, don't call people mental midgets. Is dwarf um, considered an insult too? But how do you distinguish between a midget and a dwarf? Are they all little people? Or are there different expressions for midgets versus dwarves that are you're supposed to use? Like a little, a midget is a little person, and a dwarf is. Um, I think they're different, right? I think they have different features or distinguishing features. So, what do dwarves like to be called? Are they included with little people or not? Kind of an interesting subject. Maybe we should ask like one of those famous. Dudes like Wee Man. You guys remember him? I think he was part of the Jackass crew, but that guy was a really good skateboarder. I mean, he still is. You know, just goes to show though that don't let anything hold you back, you know? I mean, a little people or a little person can skate like at a pro level. What's holding you back? You know? Get your fucking ass cheeks out there and do it, is what I'm saying. I mean, well, it's also not to say that little people are somehow less capable of doing it. That's not what I mean either. But maybe they would be... Mm, they wouldn't be as encouraged, generally, to try something like that, maybe. Maybe there's discrimination... Just like, uh, you know, it used to be that girls were not encouraged to really do sports as much. But now that they're out there doing it, you can see that they're just as capable and talented. So that's what I meant. I don't mean that they're inherently incapable of doing it, because obviously they can do it at a professional level, you know, way better than a lot of normal people can do it. Actually, I don't know if I should say normal people. Uh, it's like saying that they're not normal, but that's not what I mean either. Um, hmm. People who are proportioned traditionally or in the most common size. 
Anyway, this is getting a little bit awkward and I feel like I'm digging myself into a hole here, so I'm just going to stop. I was grocery shopping the other day with my wife and our dog. We take him with us when we go grocery shopping and keep him in his dog carrier. I know some people might think that's a little bit wacky because they don't take their dogs with them everywhere. But, but we do. But I was just thinking about how much I love it. I love going to, you know, Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or whatever grocery store and buying stuff. I guess I'm not as critical of it as, like, some people are. You know that Clash song, Lost in the Supermarket? I'm all lost in the supermarket. I can no longer shop happily. I came in here for the special offer. The guaranteed personality. I'm all lost. I think that song is um, criticizing consumerism, right? That's what it sounds like to me. It's like saying you can't just buy a personality, you know? You can't buy happiness. But, I don't know, but still going grocery shopping is pretty awesome. There's so much delicious food you can just buy in one place. I think it's different in America, I mean, not America. I think it's different in Europe. I think you have to go to, like, a different store for every kind of food. Like, if you want cheese, you have to go to the cheese store. If you want bread, you have to go to the bread store. And if you want butter, you have to go to the butter store. But in America, you could just go to the grocery store and everything's in one spot. That's so convenient. Probably comes at the cost of, like, burning down entire villages in other parts of the world, but it's very convenient for us, right? We get cheap, you know, goods. No one really says goods, do they? Unless it's in some sort of report, you know, like, well, I'm just going to go get some goods from the store. They used to have, like, general goods stores, right? Like in the Pioneer days. Anyway, I got off track a little bit there. Just wanted to, you know, praise supermarkets. I love how you can just go in there and buy, like, big cookies. The Trader Joe's ones are really good, by the way. Like, way better than Big Newton's. But they only come with one row of cookies, so you have to buy, like, two of them, I think. One of them just goes too fast. And margarine, or like that vegan-based margarine, you can buy juice, you can buy bread, you can buy frozen meals, you can buy frozen fruits, whiskey, beer, vegetables, fruits, you can even buy toilet paper and cleaning supplies, and soap and vitamins, and Protein supplements. All in one place. You can even buy fresh flowers. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Whole Foods is kind of expensive, but they have really good stuff. We just buy like a few things here and there at Whole Foods. We don't like do our whole grocery list there because it'd be way too expensive. But I like going there sometimes too. I know a lot of people like to criticize that place. But they have pretty good stuff. The deli section is really good too, like the hot, fresh foods. And the bakery. We got some tiramisu and blueberry pie. It's pretty incredible. You could just go to the store and buy that. And they say don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry, right? Because you'll just buy way too much stuff. But I disagree with that. You should go when you're just ravenously hungry and buy all the good shit in there. And just feast on that for days or maybe even weeks at a time. Then you don't have to go out and like buy to-go meals all the time. That's one um, surefire way to, you know, just destroy your bank account is to eat out every night. Which I know a lot of lazy people do. You do that, you're a lazy piece of shit. 
You need to reevaluate your entire fucking life. That's all I'm saying. But I was just kidding about that too. I'm not judging you if you do that. And I don't condone violence or bullying or just any sort of mean-spirited type of behavior. So don't take it seriously. Unless you're a little crybaby, little bitch baby, motherfucker. Piece of shit. Asshole. Whiny little dickhead. Just kidding. Don't take that seriously either. Because if you take things like that seriously, it probably means you need to see a psychiatrist. Or maybe a psychologist. Maybe both. Maybe a therapist too. They even have like smartphone apps for that. So you could just do it from home. So don't come crying to this podcast about it. All right? Just kidding about that as well. This is the Just Kidding episode. Do you like it? Let me know. If you don't like it, then just let me know and I'll stop. Or I'll consider stopping. I'm not going to definitely stop because I can do whatever the fuck I want and you can't tell me what to do. Just kidding. I'm not really that hostile. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next week. Bye.